Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I will guide you through the simple steps to clear temporary and cache files in Windows 11. Regularly, clearing these files can improve the system performance and free up this space. So let's get started. So here we are connected to our Windows 11 machine. And first, we'll use the built-in setting app to clear the temporary files. So let's click on the start menu and go to the settings. And once the settings window appear, next navigate to the system section on the left. And from here, let's find out the storage option in the middle pane. And here you will find the temporary file options. So Windows will scan for the temporary file that can be removed. And once it's done, select the items you want to delete such as recycle bin and all that stuff so here's the option like the install app the others storage sense cleanup recommendation advanced storage settings so let's click to the temporary files and here you can see all the required files that you want to clear and that will definitely add some space and some optimization to your windows 11 experience so simply well, all you have to do is to select the checkbox and you just made your selection like that and once you click on then click on remove files here this button and it will clear out all these folders now here you can see you have the temporary file delivery optimization files these are not necessary then the thumbnails and the downloads these are the files but this is not the whole download folder as you are expecting and here it is mentioned these are the file in your personal downloads folder select this if you'd like to delete everything this does not expect the story sense configuration so we're going to skip that because for you know for a chance that it may delete other files as well then you have the direct x shader cache windows error reports and feedback diagnostics and you can see that few of the folders are taking too much space and in total it's like 2.41 gigs and if you wanted to refresh the status of these files you can click to refresh and it will give you the new storage and anything that needs to be updated you can see here now all you need to do is to click to the remove file button and but let me show you a few more options below now here you can see the update is like 1.56 MB so you can view the update setting directly from here and if you click here it will let you here and here it says get the new version of Windows so this is another thing so let's go back here on the temporary files and let's click to remove these files it will take a while to delete all these files now here as you can see that nothing is selected so you cannot see any remaining data that needs to be wiped out from your machine but all the previous options and folders that you have checked has been successfully deleted now after that we are going to clear the cache using disk cleanup and for that thing again let's click to the start menu and here on the start we're going to type disk cleanup and it's going to open it will show you the best map regarding the text you type so this is the disk cleanup and here it says the drive you can choose whatever drive you want and if you go with the C then click OK now once you open the disk cleanup you will see all the directories that are still having some unnecessary file that may be taking up some space on your hard drive so once you made your selections then click OK and confirm to delete these files and it will again take a while to do that so here have a look that it is done and the disk cleanup is done so you may be wondering that the disk cleanup option is previously used in Windows 10 machine but this thing that we have introduced here that how you can clean up your temporary files in Windows 11 that's going to be really exciting and helpful feature so that's it you have successfully cleared temp and cache files on your windows 11 pc and this simple maintenance task can help keep your system running smoothly and free up valuable disk space 
So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tech tips. Thanks for watching and see you next video.